Hey, what's going on, my friends? My name's Justin Wilmot. You might know me know me as the 10-hour wholesaler or also known as the lifestyle real estate investor. And look, whether you're in the real estate business now or thinking about getting into the real estate business, I got a quick tip for you that's really gonna help you start executing and getting more done so that uh, at the end of the day, you hurry up and you, know, you can do things like this and hang out in Puerto Rico and stuff and chill on the beach and do cool stuff when you want, right? So look, at the end of the day, um, this business has lots and lots and lots of elements and pieces involved. I'm sure if you've been attempting to do it, um, you, you, you already know that. You also are bombarded with a lot of information. And so that's why I'm gonna talk to you about this one thing. The name of this video is called Sh Avoiding Shiny Object Syndrome, right? If you haven't heard that term before, Shiny Object Syndrome by random definition, right? Whoever the heck dubbed it. Maybe, uh, maybe I dubbed it, I don't know. <laughs> but whoever dubbed it shiny object syndrome, okay, is something when you are constantly looking from one place to the other for the next best thing, right? Or the next best marketing strategy, the next best way to get seller leads, the next best way to convert leads, or the next best uh, CRM, or, or major mar flashy marketing piece, or this software that's amazingly just gonna do things, you know, and your life will just be like push a button and you make a million bucks. Shiny object syndrome, I believe, is the number one cause of so much frustration for the average person that's trying to get in this real estate investing game. And if you can be consciously aware of what we're calling shiny object syndrome, just that alone, by simply being consciously aware that it exists, that it's real, then you will have an infinitely easier time just you know, picking one thing, sticking to that one thing, and never worrying about, you know, is this the right thing for me doing, or should I be doing something else? Shiny object syndrome is going to, just being consciously aware of it, in, its, uh, in and of itself, I guarantee you, is gonna make your life feel easier and do this number one thing, and here it is, ready? Here's the punchline. It's gonna help reduce the feeling of overwhelm, okay? No more overwhelm. Right? I'm sure you're feeling it. You've felt it before. You're probably feeling it now. And honestly, at the end of the day, like I'm really good at real estate. I do a lot of it. But if anybody ever tells you there's no moment where they feel overwhelmed, it's either they're lying or they're just not pushing themselves to a better caliber of what they could be doing. They're not double downing. They're just hanging out, kicking up, and not going up. I can hang out, kick out, and, and, and on, on islands and still on, and honestly be scaling my business. So, the point being, that, guys, is avoid shiny object syndrome at any cost just be aware that it exists that it's real the next time you find yourself looking here looking there try to bring yourself back in in, in and say what is it that i know that i'm supposed to be doing and then just go for it avoid shiny object syndrome my friend i promise you you're going to get to this financial freedom thing a lot quicker and a lot faster and a lot easier one love